What's been the reflection of last night's game? Um, yeah, you know, obviously it was disappointing to drop points um, at home. Um, but the good thing about football is the games come thick and fast and we've got another big game Saturday at home to Kilmarnock. Um, and the main thing is for us, you know, is to go out there and put, them, put in a performance at Ibrox and, uh, you know, get them three points. Are the players feeling the, the pressure of the fans and the expectation that Rangers were going to be challenging for the title this season? No, you know, we, we know there's expectation to playing for Rangers. Um, you know, we know the fans have high expectations and so do we as players. So, you know, we, we need to thrive off these expectations and, you know, I know as a bunch of players, we're very confident of our ability and the squad we have here, and we know what we can do. Do you uh, do you feel personally that you've you've, you've nailed down that right back? Um, no, you know it's 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 one of those things. I've, I've only played you know last two games, um, and we've got a very as I said before, we've got a very good squad. You know we've got two very good fullbacks, Lee Wallace and James Tavernier. So you know that it's it's just up to the manager, you know, there might be a rotational thing going on, but who knows? But as I said before, I'll just carry on playing as best as I can um, and, you know, see what happens from there. Talking about all the expectation, the manager was, was just talking about how players should thrive and, and playing at Ibrox and so on. You've, you've played for another club in Scotland. Just how, how different is it, everything that goes with, with trying to play under that sort of expectation here? Yeah, as players, that's what you want, though. You want to you wanna play for a big club. You know, who don't want to go and play in front of 50,000 at Ibrox week in, week out? As a player, that's that's what you want. Um, and as players, you know, we want to thrive off that. Um, and, you know, I'm sure, you know, at the weekend, if we can put on uh, a performance and get them three points, you know, we, we can carry on kicking on uh, for the game against Ross County away. In terms of league position, the table doesn't make happy reading, but the points column will tell you you're not too far away. Do the players just stay away from that sort of thing at this time of the season? Yeah, you know, we, we just need to take it game by game. Um, you know, if we can get six points in these last two games before going into international break, you know, that would put us, you know, in good stead during that international break to come, come back in November. And then we, you know, we don't have another international break till March then. So, you know, there'll be a lot of games coming thick and fast and... You know, as I said before, we we'll take it game by game, um, and all we need to concentrate on do is, you know, is playing the way we'd play. We believe in the way we play. Um, you know, that won't change. And you know, I'm sure if we carry on what we're doing, you know, the results will come away, and we, we, we'll get three points. Celtic could go ten clear on Saturday with a game in hand. How difficult would it be to catch them? Um, to be honest, we we. We just need to concentrate on ourselves. It's just about Rangers for us. You know, we, we just need to take it, as I said before, game by game. Um, and, you know, it's, it's still a, l a long season. There's still a lot of games left. Um, you know, people drop points in the league. Um, so, as I said before, it's, it's all about us. We'll take it game by game. And, you know, we're carrying on winning games. And then, you know, we, we'll see where that will take us at the end of the season. Lee, there were moments last night there was an eerie kind of quiet around Ibrox with the fans and sometimes they're on your back. When you're out on the pitch, I mean, what, what does that do to you mentally? Does it have any effect? Are you aware of it? Um, as I said before, the, you know, there's a high expectation at Rangers. Um, you know, the fans have a, a high expectation. You know, they expect us to win games and as players we expect to win games. Um, and, you know, on the pitch we just we need to concentrate on Karen, what we do. Um, you know the philosophy we have, and carry on believing in, in the way we play. And if we carry on doing that, you know, nine times out of ten, we we will get, you know, what we want out of the game. Um, you know, it might not be going our way at the moment, but you know, if we carry on what we're doing, keep believing, keep working hard in training, week in week out. Um, and you know, I'm sure we keep training the way we are. We'll take it into games at weekends, and you know, we will get the results that we want. What is it at the moment? Are you just not getting a break? Is there little individual errors? What's contributing at the moment? It's hard to say. Um, you know, there might be a few things that have not gone away. Um, you know, but as I said before, we just need to carry on concentrating on us. You know, we carry on working hard in training. If we can work hard on training pitch, perform good in training, you know, play the way you train, that always helps going into a game on Saturday. Um, so as I said before, we just concentrate on us, carry on working hard 
and you know the results will come. What do you make of how your team are getting on at the moment? Yeah, obviously they, they had a good result yesterday against Hearts, um, you know, and they're going to be full of confidence coming to Ibrox. But you know we, we're full of confidence, even though you know we didn't get the result we wanted last night. You know we won't let our heads drop. Um, you know we, as I said before, we we do know um, how good our squad is and the ability we have here, and we will carry on believing in what we're doing. And when we get out there on Saturday, as I said before, we we will put on a you know a performance, and you know the main thing for us is to try to get them three points. Um, you just on international stuff, you expecting another call up for the the November game against Azerbaijan? <coughs> um, hopefully, yeah. um, it you know it'd be nice to you know get in a squad again. Um, but, you you know, played in Germany, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. played in Germany. Uh, that was a great experience for me um, to play against the world champions. You don't you don't get to play against um, a team of that high caliber uh, every day, but you know I enjoyed it. It was a great experience, learning curve for me to play against the best team in the world, and you know see where I am and you know see where I need to improve on as a player. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, obviously, we didn't get the result we wanted, but I don't think a lot of teams will go there in our group um, throughout you know the qualifying stages and take points out in Germany. So. Um, you know the, the lads showed their character. You know we went two 0 down early, but lads dug in, showed their character. We created chances. Um, you know, and if we could have got one back, you know, you never know what could happen. But um, as you said before, now we've got two games in November. We've got Azerbaijan at home qualifying, friendly against Croatia. So um, you know that's a very important game for us against Azerbaijan. Um, if we win that, I think it keeps. Us yeah, it takes us. I think it takes a second going into the new year, uh, leading us into March. March's games, so yeah, no, very important game. And you know, hopefully, I need to keep working hard. I've got two more games before before the squad's probably announced. Um, so yeah, I'll just see see what happens in the next couple of weeks. Are you pleased though that how the, well the, the momentum of getting to the Euros has kind of continued because that could have died away, I guess. Yeah, um, you know, Michael's done a great job. Uh, you know, lads are in a great place. You know, it's it's a great it's a great squad to be around when we go away. You know, it's full of confidence. Um, the belief between the lads, and the belief of the manager that he shows, he believes in us as a team where we can be and what we can do. And I think that that showed in the Euros. You know, reaching, uh, getting out of the group into the qualifying stages. Um, you know, against Wales. Um, you know. I thought we was unlucky to to lose that game, but you know it was a great experience to be a part of it. Um, even though you know you didn't, I didn't get any minutes, but just to be out there um, and be a part of it, it was it was a great experience for me. Um, massive learning curve, and um, as I said before, it's it's left us as a group of players in in a very good uh, state of mind, and the squad's very very high in confidence, and we know. What we can do, and we believe, you know, we can kick on as a, as a country. Who were you directed up against in Germany? Um, it, it was hard. Um, Jackson started out on the left, but you know their rotation and the freedom they have as you know the midfield and um, you know the front front four, as I should say, really like the, the fullbacks push on high and they they play narrow the, the wingers, but their their rotation. One minute up against Draxler, Goats, Muller, they was just all over, all over the place. You know, it was hard to, you know, to recognise who he was playing against because there was always there was so much rotation between them. And as I said before, it was uh, it was a great experience for me to experience that, um, and you know I enjoyed it very much. So. Did you get a shot? Yeah, I did. Yeah, did I got Goats's. So. I yeah, good, the yeah, 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 it was a good good one to the collection. <laughs>